My brother is Sitawa Natambu Jamaha. Then, then we went on another hunger strike, September the 8th. Oof, my brother has been in prison since 1981. And he went to prison for a crime that he did not commit. And when I had 28 years in the hole. Before my father went to prison, I was subjected to getting fingerprinted. I, I was like eight, I was eight years old. It was a vending machine, I was hungry, me and my friends, and we tried to get some candy out the vending machine. I seen his situation as me being there, and as ironic as it sound, you know, that's how it turned out later on, but, you know, I just didn't understand the framework at the time. My brother, Satawa, was a part of the Ashker case. It started up at Pelican Bay. They had three hunger strikes. The first one had 6,600 people. The third one was in 2013, and that one was 30,000 people who participated. And we decided to go on a hunger strike. We wrote to the newspaper and put them on notice, and we sent them a copy of our demands. They wanted to have healthy food, nutritious food. They wanted good medical, basic stuff. We were subjected to inhumane treatment, inadequate health care, inadequate medical care, you know, you name it. It was a whole lot going on at the time. These guys were all in solitary confinement and they wanted to be released. We was fighting for our humanity. We was fighting to be treated equal and we use solidarity as a weapon. If you had a tattoo, you know, you had cultural art. If you had a book by George Jackson, these were some of the things that would label you as a gang member and then, you know, you'd end up in uh, solitary confinement. I mean, that's just inhumane to begin with. So why would you put someone in a solitary confinement for 20, 30, and 40 years? When they labeled you, you either snitched or died. That, that was how you were released from out of solitary confinement. And so this was something that they wanted to end. California Prison Focus used to do reports. They used to come and pull the prisoners out with the prison law office. And we used to give them documentary evidence to support our claim. California Prison Focus was right there on the front lines. We were a family. A lot of things came out of the hunger strikes, the agreement to end hostilities. A lot of people were released from solitary confinement who were there for indefinite amounts of times, like ri ridiculous amounts of times. What they fought for, you know, all those years finally came to pass. You know, it finally came to pass and that was, that was so monumental for everyone involved. We just, we, it, we could breathe again.